Magnífico. Magnífico. Good morning. Marjack 79 here. And as we begin our final day on our Disney World vacation, we head to the Polynesian Resort. We're going to head to the Kona Cafe to get a little bit of breakfast. The main reasoning for this is that so that we can park at the Polynesian Resort so that we can just hop on the monorail and ride straight to the Magic Kingdom instead of parking at the Ticket Transportation Center and doing all that process. You know, we prefer to grab some breakfast and ride from one of the major resorts to the Magic Kingdom. I think the process is a lot easier. So let's get in here, get some breakfast, and let's get our day started. Polynesian Resort, personally one of my favorites, just for the sheer beauty of it. Look at that, so cool. I know there's a huge Lilo and Stitch theme going on in the resort, but from the rumors that I've heard, they're eventually going to convert the resort into a more Moana theme as well. So, and if you can see off in the distance, Cinderella Castle, all the way deep down into the Magic Kingdom. If that's not a monthly meeting for work, if I've ever seen one, <laughs> goodness gracious. <laughs> but here we are at the Kona Cafe. Yeah. Very excited to get in here and get some grub. I'm starving. Just beautiful. Just look at the just the atmosphere of the Polynesian. Never ceases to amaze me. And of course, since we are staying at a Disney resort, Disney Saratoga Springs to be exact, we will, we will be able to get into the park a half an hour early, so 8.30. Very nice. Then of course, over here, we have probably my favorite restaurant in all of Walt Disney World, Ohana. <laughs> we have their fabulous bread pudding, chicken wings, uh, stir fry. Oh, it's so, it's so good, man. If I were to recommend one restaurant in all of Walt Disney World, this would definitely be the one. Weirdly enough, as much as I love the Polynesian Resort, we've never stayed here. But don't worry though, as much as we come here, it is definitely on the bucket list. And we stayed at the Contemporary Animal Kingdom Lodge. So when it comes to, you know, DVC Deluxe Resorts, this is definitely on the list for our next, you know, bucket list stay for sure. All right, and a very large piece of Tonga toast, but I got mine without the bananas in the middle though. And a side of ham, and a side of scrambled eggs with cheese. And we're gonna cut this down the middle, see what's going on in here. That was absolutely delicious. I would go as far as to say that may have been my favorite meal so far during this entire trip. The Tonga toast with the raspberry, the scrambled eggs and cheese, and the ham, the grilled ham, all delicious. Even the, even the coffee, super good. So. All right, so now that we've finished our delicious breakfast from Kona Cafe, hopping on the monorail towards the Magic Kingdom. It's crazy as we've been here a week and this is our technically our first monorail ride of the entire trip. And now we officially make our way into the Magic Kingdom to celebrate the world's most magical celebration, the 50th anniversary of my most favorite place on earth. It's becoming a theme that every time I enter the Magic Kingdom or Disneyland that I get this sign. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. Gotta love those fall decorations as you enter the Magic Kingdom. That, the orange and the brown and the yellows, the pumpkins. Gotta love it, man. Never gets old. Never gets old. And now I'm just gonna shut up so that you can get your first view of Cinderella Castle with the 50th anniversary decorations on it. Magnifico. It never gets old, does it? It never gets old. And of course, we 
went right up on the uh, Mickey and Minnie sign. There. Can't get too close though, because people taking pictures right here. And as you can see, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Then we have right there, partner statue, the classic. Back to Cinderella Castle. This amazing fountain. I like the little tassels that they have hanging off the side of the castle. <laughs> Gotta love it. Beautiful. We have the cashmere cat, 50th anniversary statue. Very nice. And the Mad Hatter. I've said this before, but while you're waiting in line for my train, send your wife and daughter to go do the teacups. <laughs> uh, my train was 45 minutes, teacup was five minutes. So knock out two birds with one stone. I think that's how that saying goes. <laughs> Look at that guy's big old monster cinnamon rolls. <laughs> It's insane how big those things are. <laughs> Goodness gracious. And we have the Pinocchio 50th anniversary statue. Very nice. Mother and daughter. Good old tangle themed bathroom. <laughs> you would think they would give them an, an actual attraction and not just a restroom, you know? They cool representation nonetheless, but you know, I think I thought the movie was good enough to get a little bit more representation than just a bathroom. Good old Haunted Mansion will always and forever be one of my favorites.
It's cocky Jack Sparrow we're after, and a fortune in gold. So we do have my uh, favorite snack of all time at Disney World. Uh, the uh, cheeseburger egg rolls. They also have the 50th anniversary uh, spring rolls as well. The pastrami and meat. Very excited to try the both of them. Yes, 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 yes. Street. I'm going to look at Donald, his 50th anniversary statue, and Daisy, her 50th anniversary statue. Absolutely immaculate, the both of them. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. We also get Goofy and Pluto. That completes the five five of golden statues to celebrate the 50th anniversary. Very nice. Very nice. the 50th anniversary Stitt statue. Nice. And we have the 50th anniversary merchandise of Galore in the Emporium here. I don't get what's the big deal about these self dispensers here, but okay. <laughs> Castle's pretty sweet though. Look at that. Then on this side here, we have 50th anniversary puzzles, back of the castle, ears, Crocs, sweaters, more ears, just a galore of merchandise. All right, and we have another 50th anniversary statue. We have the Lady and the Tramp. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice crispy treat there, princess. <laughs> I just wanted to take a second and point out the citizen clock, a new addition to the 50th anniversary celebration. Pretty cool uh, with this golden finish clock and a little light post next to it as well. Very nice. And this is it right here, man. Oh, look at it. Every time I come here, I get a really quick update of the construction of Tron. This is it. I think this is going to be Walt Disney World's best attraction once it finally opens up. This looks so amazing. It's not even funny. But this is going to be their answer to the Velocicoaster. I mean, I currently, without a doubt, I call Universal Studios Islands of Adventures Velocicoaster the best attraction in Orlando currently. But I think when this opens, when this gets completed, I think this is going to be the one, man. I think this is going to be the one. This just looks just insane <laughs> it's insane i know yeah. and then look at this building that it's coming out of like it's like oh, i wonder if that's gonna be part of the construction or i wonder if this is just like part of uh, if this is going to be taken down once the construction is finished you know 
Ah, so then the it coaster indoors the, and then it's a loop outside. So the coaster actually starts indoors mm -hmm. and then it's gonna loop outside. That is amazing. And then it's gonna be like lit up at nighttime too, like the Tron cycle. Oh, and then you're like you're gonna be like folded over, kinda like how he is on the Tron cycle. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's just something else. Yep. And then of course, hopefully once they finally finish the Tron cycle, which has been taking years, they will finally be able to reopen the Walt Disney World Railroad, which has been closed for a few years now at this point, it feels like. You know, we haven't even ridden it since before COVID, I wanna say. So, yeah, you know. It closed before COVID. Yep, it closed before COVID. So once Tron is finished, then I would assume that they will open it back up. So, yeah. Hello there, Tiana. Very nice. And Cinderella as well. There's our $80 figurines going on here. Of course, we also have the Frozen crew, Anna and Elsa. And we have some uh, Aladdin action going on here too. 50th anniversary coin set. Can't really see the designs on the coins themselves, but pretty cool. This is the Mickey Mouse right there. Oh. Beast's Castle. Uh, yeah, it's a cool atmosphere. Uh, awesome if you, you know, love Beauty and the Beast. Food, meh, just, just, just never done it for me, like, ever. <laughs> Candy bacon from Frontierland. Pretty tasty. It's got like a tender, kind of a ham <laughs> consistency to it. It's good though. It's very tasty. All right, man, time to hit up Splash Mountain, and this will most likely be our last Splash Mountain ride before the re-theming occurs. So let's go and enjoy it. trip to the Magic Kingdom that was as always thanks everybody for watching uh, if you like that video do me a do me a favor and hit that like button uh, go ahead and, and hit that notification bell icon too if you want to see more videos just like this you can follow me at youtube.com slash monjack79 I'm also on Facebook Instagram and Instagram and Twitter and as always I will see you guys on the next one I'll catch you guys later bye Red pudding of Ohana. Gotta love it. And the Magrita!